y'all, welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon, and I am your girl, Milan Garcon. I know I look very in the house. Ooh, very Levi jeans. Yeah, very pretty little thing. And I don't know if y'all can see all of my things, but <laughs> we gotta talk about a lot. There's a lot of updates going on. Okay, I'm making my, oh, I'm making my breakfast right now. I just touched the thing that's like boiling hot water, so that's fun. I'm about to make me some coffee, some oatmeal. We're gonna do this moan shot. I gotta update y'all on like a lot of stuff. Like, y'all know I like to keep y'all in my business. I'm back on black market moans, under the table moans. That's the biggest thing right now. My insurance is like, I have insurance, but I don't like the, I wanna be able to go to my regular doctors. So I'm about to switch insurances again so that I can go to my regular doctor because those that don't know, I do not, I no longer work at Fox. Very, very, very not good place. So I, right now I've been freelancing, I've been doing drag again. You know, I've been hustling, I've been getting back to the coin, which is crazy because I've been getting a lot of emails for shoots and bookings. And it's like the universe can tell when you open up space for what you're meant to do and not what you, not what you feel like you're supposed to do or just to do what everybody else is doing and have this nine to five job. Like I was approaching 30 and I'm just like, am I gonna be freelancing? Yes, bitch, I'm gonna be freelancing. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be performing my talents and I'm gonna be taking every gig that I can get regardless if I have the days off or not. Yeah, we're back to hustling and every time I do that, I book something great. Like I feel like when you bet on yourself, you always have the best outcome. So I'm back to doing that. Also y'all, my hair is growing as y'all can see. So like life is good. I haven't been this calm in forever. Um, Y'all know that this year was like, this year was turmoil for me. I dealt with um, sexual assault. Well, I dealt with rape, but it's kind of still difficult for me to say it out loud like that. But I'm kind of just tired of living. Like th today is Halloween for those that don't know. And I'm really like not excited. I haven't really dressed up at all this season because I'm finally getting to a point like after my 30th birthday, I'm finally getting to a point where I'm like, I'm ready to take this mask off that like says I'm okay. That says like, I'm always smiling. I'm the same line as I've always been. Like, I don't know that girl anymore. After what happened to me, happened to me. I lost like, when well, I lost a huge part of myself, but I strongly feel like a huge part of me was altered forever. Um, your game, your your brain chemistry changes when you go through something as like violent and, and like traumatic as that. So it's like, I knew from that point on I was never gonna be the same chick. Did I know what that meant? Hell no. Um, I just always hoped that I liked the person that I would become and didn't hate the person that I would become. And I've kind of gone through hating the person that I was, not before, but after um, what happened to me happened to me because I just felt like I didn't know this person. Like I'm in this body, but I don't know this person. Like I just felt so degraded, so disposable. And then I realized that I did know that person. And that person's lived within me for a very long time. So now it's time for me to heal, not because I'm broken, but because I'm beautifully broken. And that's a testament and a testimony. I ain't there yet, I'm getting there, but like these things are starting to connect for me. And a lot of it is, a lot of it was letting things go in my life that just did not agree with me. And, 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 and not, I'm not talking about my trans life. No, like just didn't serve me, like for real, for real. So we're gonna write, write right now, the era that we're in is called the reset. And with that, I had to get some new insurance. I, I didn't want to go to the doctors. They were really nice, but it just didn't work out. When things don't work out, I just feel like it's for a reason and there's nothing that I can do about it. So I went back to getting my hormones off the black market. I'm on a testosterone blocker shot instead of having to take a pill every day, well, two pills every day, that's great. Um, I still take my progesterone pills, but all of my hormones are international and your girl has already seen like a huge jump. I do not promote buying moans under the table or from the black market. I, I y'all know I'm, I'm an avid person of like, get your moans from your doctor so that they can do your blood work. And you can still get blood work and still be on black market moans. So don't, don't let the girls fool you. You can use whatever you got, mix with whatever you can get. You know, stay with me. But I just feel like I have not been on testosterone blockers for almost, two months and I was starting to like mentally not be able to take it like 
I was just feeling like I was looking at clocky. I don't know. I was just like going through my own little femme queen thing. And with that, I just decided, you know what? When I first started hormones, my first five, six months, I was on black market moans. I, I took them throughout the process. Every once in a while, I would, you know, pop a Mexican moan. But now I'm on Thailand moans, Korea moans, and I think a Korean tea blocker. So yeah, your girl's been feeling kind of again and I've been gaining weight again because I'm back on, I haven't been on progesterone either. So I was literally only taking estrogen shots because that's what I had enough of. That's what I had a lot of. And, um, oh my God, this is never, I'm never going to make this thing. I'm talking and trying to do something at the same time. Y'all see ADHD is really running the show. Really running the show. First, let's get the oatmeal. Because I love some fiber. Fiber sticks to the body. And I live a bottom lifestyle. So as much fiber as I can get is, 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 is as much as I will say, honey. It keeps you clean and clear. Mwah. I say all that is to say, my life is going great. I'm grateful for, you know having a home over my head. I'm grateful for having friends and family. I'm grateful for life in itself. I'm grateful to be able to transition, to still have the means to be able to buy hormones, to be able to have sisters that, you know, show you how to get it all done. You know what I'm saying? Right now, let me make this breakfast so we can really talk. We're doing under the table moans. Now, under the table moans means that I'm not getting my moans from a doctor right now. I am getting my hormones under the table, exactly what they sound like. So these are some Korean moans. These hormones did not come from a doctor. This is estrogen and it is Korean. My testosterone blockers are Korean and my hormones are from Thailand, I'm sorry. So I'm going to be lady boy kind. Ah! But I don't need to take this whole thing. So that's why I got this empty vial and I'm gonna put the rest into the empty vial. The only thing about these glass ones, y'all, is that I hate it because you have to snap them. Like you gotta like, Oh, I'd be so afraid of like breaking the, breaking the whole thing, like grabbing it too hard. Right now, I'm just gonna suck all of this out of here. This took part of transitioning that y'all don't never like wanna hear about. I need all of it. Those have not seen me take a hormone shot. It does involve a needle, trigger warning, boom. When we talk about like being trans and what the dolls go through and stuff, like I'm gonna try to do it right here. Nobody talks about the actual having to give yourself a shot. All right, we're gonna push the extra because I don't want no air in this needle. So I just put a smaller needle on here. So that was a larger needle to draw it all out. The smaller needle is literally just to go into your actual body. This side is going in. I've been doing it in my butt lately, so that's fun. <laughs> Boom, and we're done. Put this back on top immediately. I have one of these things. You put all of your needle stuff in here. With the caps on it. This oh, this broken glass is going in here. And then this has the rest of the Filipino moans. I only took half of a shot. This is what transitioning is. This is this is the training lifestyle. Okay? You have to inject estrogen into your body. Like we don't just wake up, put on wigs and, and makeup in here. I mean, mind you. This is not a wig, this is not makeup, and like, this is just a fucking crop top. I leave the house like this every day. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Talk about some yes you do, put on hair, makeup, and clothes, like, what? <laughs> put on hair, what? This is my hair, what are you talking about? But nobody wants to talk about this part of transitioning. Everybody finds it easier to just, like, dehumanize us because it's like every trans every girl that transitions does not get that surgery there are a thousand types of gender affirm affirming surgery you, you can get a facial feminization surgery you can get top surgery which is getting your bag you can get a lot of things but like no surgery is just going to be the one to make you feel like oh i'm just that all right, y'all, so I'm at the train. I'm about to be on my way. That's not even my fucking train. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get on the motherfucking... I'm about to get on the train. I don't know why I'm having a very, like, irritable day, but I'm very irritable today, and I'm just very irritable. This is the train I'm about to get on. I'm about to go meet Mermaid and go to this fucking Halloween day parade, whatever. I'm going to manage 
my emotions today. I'm just really irritable. Ew, ugh, ugh, then I gotta be around people. It is annoying adults in costumes. Oh my God. I need to hurry up and get drunk so I could be one of the annoying adults in my costume. Everything is pissing me off. All right, so me and my girl made it to the vlog. I mean, we made it to the parade no. vlog. We made it. Yeah, Niggas, we made it. it. But, um, yeah, y'all, we got a night ahead of us. Right now, we trying to find a way to cross the street. Look at all the people. Every holiday in New York City has a parade involved. Look at Miss Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond. I'm Azalea Banks. Killing chickens in my closet. The police is trying to get them to move the barricade so that they can move this side, but they not listening. Cause everything is everything. 